guys, what's up? A very, very, very warm welcome to all of you. I hope all of you guys are having a super amazing day going on, people. So, kya hal chal? I hope all of you are ready for this amazing session because we are here back with our sprint series. And today is for grade six, and this is for air around us. What's up, people? How you all doing? Are you all doing good? Good, good. Hi, Namaste. Vanakam, Vandanam, Namaskaram, Swagatam, Mr. Swagatam to the session. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Shreya. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. Big hi, big hi. Oh my God. We know. Hello. Hello. What's up? Yay. What's up? Okay. What's up? Shall we start? Shall we start? Are you all ready? Hi, Sarojini. Hi, Pratima. Hi, Purple Student. What's up? What's up? Hi, Edufine. Hi, hi. Football lovers. Hello. What's up? Hi, Rishi Gamer. Hello. 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 Ready, man? Kya. Kya me apko baya bula sakte ho? Ooh, I'm your. Yeah, definitely. Why not? Why not? <laughs> What's up, Vanshika from Grade Six? Welcome, guys. Welcome. Hello, Ajay. Hello. Hey, Avantika. Hi, Madhusmita. Um, yo, ay yo, ay yo. Okay. So, guys, by the way, guys, do not forget to hit that hit that like button right now. Mark your attendance because we are about to start with one of the amazing classes today. That is air around us, and you all know you are here. And if you, if you guys have already seen the thumbnail, this is a sprint science sprint series. That is, we'll be completing the entire pura ki pura chapter, whatever it is, <laughs> right? And we're gonna have a lot of fun because this class will be having mind maps, we quiz. Yes, yes, people who are here for the quiz. We definitely have a live week quiz by the end of the session. Yes. End. End. Okay. Then we have some previous year questions, also some subjective questions that we'll all be, uh, you know, you know, learning right today, people. So with that, we shall start. So on class seventh, which class is live on this time? Abhi tak, abhi nahi hai. Abhi sirf class six chal raha hai. Okay. Yes, <laughs> great guys. Let's go forward. Amazing, amazing. Why is it not working? Come on. Huh. So sprint is coming for all of you. Let's go guys. Let's go. Hi Seema. Hello, hello. Hi Vishal. All right, a dose of motivation for every one of us. I know. I know because this is all needed for us right now. Okay, because I know all of you guys are like, Sir, this is year ka end. Hai. Why will we study? How many of you guys are like, Sir, I will study from next year. I will, how many of you guys have been thinking, sir, next year say I will keep timetable. I will wake up in the morning, sir. I will start working out, sir. I will start studying, sir. Next year I am going to do, sir. I am going to kill it, sir. How many of you guys have this thought in your mind? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? I, I used to do this. <laughs> I used to do this. Lord of you guys, Lord of you guys, I know guys, trust me, don't wait for first, start from tomorrow. Okay, today I'm excusing you, fine, today you leave, today watch this class, study something and sleep. Start tomorrow. Don't just start from first, start tomorrow itself, so that, so that it becomes easier for you guys. So whatever, how many of you guys have resolutions? How many of you guys have resolutions? Sir, my resolution is to go to gym. Sir, my resolution is to become to get the first rank. How many of you guys have resolutions? What is your resolutions? Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Starting of the year is the gift of my test. Oh, koi baat nahi. <laughs> what resolution? What revolution? I mean, resolution, sorry. <laughs> but sir, tomorrow never comes. It will come. Mark my words. Tomorrow is the best day for all of you. Come on. You want to be a cricketer? Achha, cricket, start playing from tomorrow. You want to be a topper? Start studying from tomorrow. <laughs> Less use of phone. Very good. I'll tell you a trick, guys. So every phone has a screen time. Like you can set timer. Us timer ke baad, uh, the phone will automatically turn off. So use that. Almost every smartphone has it. Okay? Yeah. To top in assessments of my school, definitely you will. Yes, yes. Topper in competitive exam. You want to be astronaut next month, next year. Great. Good. Good. Scientist. Free fire. Wow. <laughs> I'll do something special every day to get the first position. That's amazing. To study the most. 
Wow, wow. I can see a lot of amazing resolutions for, for, from many of you guys. You want to hear mine? So I have many resolutions. Okay. <laughs> One of that resolution is I am thinking I'll eat healthy. Next year, say, for tomorrow, kal se, pura ki pura healthy food. No junk. <laughs> let's focus on health is what my, uh, you know, idea is. Dekhte, let's see what happens. Okay. Yes, yes. So uh, again, again, all the best guys. Make sure that you guys kill it. The, the coming year from tomorrow is going to be amazing for all of you guys. Mark my words. You guys are all wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Let's go forward. And uh, here is an amazing mind map. This is one of the easiest chapter. By the way, if you guys do not know from whom you are learning, if you are here for the new uh, or if you're here for the first ever time thinking, Array, who is this person? Do not worry because my name is Mohan, master teacher of science from Vedantu. And welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders, guys. You are in a very good place. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that you get a lot of amazing, amazing suggestions of other classes too in this channel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Focus on studies. Yes. Yes. Let's all focus. Let's go forward. So guys, air around us is a very, very, uh, you know, amazing chapter. Very easy. You don't even have to study this chapter. Yeah. Because this is just common sense. We have been breathing the air all around us. There will be weak quiz. Yes. We have been breathing the air all around us everywhere. Look at this air. 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 Air is everywhere. Right? Now, first let's talk about the air also occupies space. Definitely. The air also occupies space. If you blow into a balloon, the balloon becomes big. Now, what is there inside the, uh, uh, you know, balloon air? Because air occupies space. For example, your bike tire, your car tire, your bicycle tires. Inside the tire, what is there? Air is there. If there is no air inside the tire, the tire will go flat. Right? So that is a proof that air also occupies some space. Isn't it? Exactly. Now, guess what? Air is not just present all around us. Air is also present in the water. Also inside the soil, air is present in all of these places, right? Sometimes you go, you know, top of your uh, terrace, on your terrace, uh, you go stand there, you enjoy the air blowing to your face, right? How many of you guys enjoy it? Air just blows, your hair just flies. And in the background, there is some music going on. -na 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 -na. That's the normal, that's, that's like the common hero in entry in all the movies, no? <laughs> Have you guys seen? In every movie, the hero in entry is that only. The heroine is there, the air starts to blow, then... -da 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 -da. Yeah, exactly. Now, what is that moving air? The air is moving from one place to another, right? What is that air called? wind so moving air is called as wind okay yes clear with this let's talk about uh, how air is present in water and soil don't worry now this air is not a single thing nay lot of things lot of things make air air is a mixture of gases bahut sare we have hydrogen nitrogen uh, so many so many gases but the major gases are nitrogen which is their 78 percentage of the air around us is nitrogen for example this air contains nitrogen 21 percentage is oxygen argon 0.93 carbon dioxide 0.4 then we have other gases, hydrogen, helium, water, vapor, dust, smoke, everything. So it's, it's pretty much made up of many, many gases too. Okay. Yes. The major ones are nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. These three are the major, like major. Mm -hmm. All right. Huh. Now, uh, then we also talk about the atmosphere. What is atmosphere? The entire earth has a blanket around it. 
to protect us, also to provide us with all the necessary things. That is the atmosphere. It has a lot of gases present in it. It's an air envelope surrounding the earth. Okay. It has many layers in the atmosphere. We have exosphere, we have thermosphere, mesosphere, stratosphere, troposphere. So all these are different layers of the atmosphere. We'll learn about it. And oxygen availability, which is there in water, which is there in soil. And also wind is used to produce electricity. Huh? Wind energy. How many of you guys have seen windmills? How many of you guys have seen windmills? Have you guys seen windmills? Yeah. Mm. Have you seen? They're huge. They're huge, right? Sure. Let's learn about one by one. So as I told you guys, air contains a lot of gases present inside it or they all make up air. So 78% of nitrogen is present, 20.9% or 21% of oxygen, argon, other gases, carbon dioxide is the remaining gases present in the atmosphere. Okay, now let's talk about the different layers in the atmosphere. Oh my God. Okay, I'll tell you a, a interesting fact also. All right. So guys, first we have the troposphere. Troposphere is, how many of you guys have gone on a flight? Have you guys taken a flight? Have you guys taken a flight? Yeah. I only took flight once in my life, like this year. <laughs> only once. Only once, yeah, you have, you have, you have. So the flight you fly in, be it any airlines, right? You lift off, zoop, and then you skip. What is your favorite part in flying in an airplane, guys? What's your favorite part? My favorite is the lift off. Like, like I never imagined flights were like so fast. You'll be sitting in your seat, then the flight goes zoop, and then flies away. <laughs> right, exactly, the lift off is so good. So. All these aeroplanes that we travel in, all these commercial aeroplanes travel in the troposphere. Okay, then sometimes you might see jets, zoop, super fast jets, military jets. Those can travel in higher altitudes. They can even travel higher. Okay, now those are, that. then that layer is called stratosphere. So troposphere, stratosphere stratosphere ka upar we have mesosphere now mesosphere is where you see shooting stars shooting stars are basically what meteoroids right then mesosphere ka upar you have thermosphere thermosphere is where all the satellite all of these things orbit the earth okay now my question is guys what is this Carmen line. A Carmen line kya hota hai? Who knows? Who knows? Quick, quick. Who knows what is Carmen line? No idea? No idea? I'll tell you a secret. If you guys want to become an astronaut, no? If you guys want to become an astronaut, you don't have to go to NASA. Don't have to go to ISRO. You just have to cross this Carmen line, boss. If you cross the Carmen line, you would be called as an astronaut, guys. How cool is that? So Carmen line is the line which separates space from the earth. Like it's the space, the boundary. If you cross the Carmen line, you're officially in space floating. Okay, so around 100 kilometers, you'll have a Carmen line. It's an imaginary line. It's the boundary, yeah, yeah, yeah. So after you cross that, you go into space. Okay, then you have exosphere. Exosphere is next, where you have the rockets flying to the different, uh, you know, places. Right? These are different layers of the Earth, guys. All right. Now, what about oxygen or air present in the soil? Okay, let us draw and make it more interesting. Abhi, okay? Let's go to my profile. After going to my profile, let's go to the whiteboard. You guys know how good I am in drawing. <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna guess. Okay, what is this? Guess, guess, guess. What is this? What is this? 
it's a land soil okay okay soil clouds are there now suddenly what happens from the clouds it start raining okay everything is fine everything is fine but we have guddu walking on the floor he's like are what is happening it's raining he's happily walking he's like a a a he's happily walking when he walks he notices something he notices he notices guess what any idea what this is <laughs> any idea what this is any idea any idea let us zoom and see okay we'll zoom when we zoom it looks like this what is it do that is do not know that is earthworm okay now guddu gets so happy guddu is like oh my god earthworms have come to tell hi to me how many of you guys have noticed this in your garden have you guys noticed this in your garden when it rains all the earthworms come out have you guys seen you might also seen on the soil you will find tracks like this on the soil if you see you will find tiny tracks looks like something has gone like this right those are earthworms guys but why are earthworms coming out why are they coming out how are they living inside the soil guys earthworms also need oxygen earthworms also needs what oxygen to survive all right but earthworms will will breathe through their skin so they will be inside the soil normally they'll be inside the soil now when they will absorb oxygen which is present inside the soil normally normally but what will happen if all the water goes inside the soil when water goes inside the soil oxygen will be pushed out because water goes and occupies all the space oxygen is all pushed out of the soil so earthworms will suffocate they like hey, where is the oxygen so all the earthworms will come out of the water so this is proof that oxygen or air is present in the soil if you have any doubt take a bucket take a jug of water and pour it in the soil when you pour you will see bubbles coming out of the soil that means all the air present inside the soil is coming out okay this is how the organisms which are present inside the soil respire or breathe theek hai same with plants also even plants require oxygen from the soil they also absorb using the roots which are present between the air, uh, soil particles okay now importance of air yes we uh, breathe in the oxygen for respiration right we use oxygen to break down the food to release energy plants also use oxygen for respiration etc right now let's go for some questions guys are you all ready what about water guys what about water I, you want to hear a story my sad story you want to hear my sad story yeah so one day this is a real story guys real story very real one day my son pen not working now one second guys sometimes the pen doesn't work it's okay ha huh. better nahi not working let me refresh this i'll tell you one super cool story okay one day i was this is me i was walking from my school wearing my bag i was happily walking then i saw a shop any idea what shop is this i saw a shop
any idea what shop is this you can't see okay now you can see huh. this shop is an aquarium i got super cool i'm like oh my god i want to have a fish i started crying okay started crying and i went to the shop okay took my father went to the shop and we finally got a small bowl with two gold fish i'm like super happy i'm like yeah gold fish mil gaya so i took the gold fish i came to my house and then i kept it on my table i am like i am the greatest in the world now okay i took the gold fish kept it in the pot the small you know the the, the 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 what is it called the glass jar okay i kept it here gold fish okay so i i give them some food i go to school i come back fine after two days after two days i wake up in the morning the fish was dead i was devastated i was like oh my god i started crying so bad i'm like why 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 i i also named them how many of you guys have faced the same situation how many of you guys have experienced this how many of you guys have got goldfish kept it in a bottle or a small glass container and it is dead in few days maximum one week yes or no and we start crying right yes 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 but my friend had tens of fishes but what he had was he had something like this i when i went to his house i saw a tank like this in that tank there was water fully okay and i also saw huge fish I saw huge fish in his tank but it was not dead I was shocked I was like are what is this how is this happening but he had something very special I was shocked I was like what is this thing he had something like this which was giving oxygen which was blowing air I was like what is this ye kya hai I was shocked any idea guys what what mistake i did and what he was doing he was continuously providing the fish with fresh air guys even the fish requires oxygen even the fish requires oxygen how do they absorb the oxygen this oxygen is mixed with the water it's mixed with the water so the fish if you see fish fish always does this Have you guys seen? Have you guys seen fish doing it? Always. It's because it's taking the water, absorbing all the oxygen, and giving out all the carbon dioxide out. Okay. This is also the proof that oxygen or air is present in the water also, and all the aquatic organisms use the oxygen present in the water. Understood, people? Very simple. Oh my look at this fish no i'm very good in drawing wow look at it okay then let's go for the questions now are you all ready to solve some questions by the way shall we go for some short type questions are you all ready abhi abhi are you all ready by the way guys do not forget to hit that subscribe and share a like button 35 likes i'm not starting let us have 50 likes and we shall start with the short type questions and then we shall go for the week quiz also jaldi se like button you have to click and then once you click we shall start with the questions come on 50 likes people 50 likes we have 44 watching but only 42 likes come on jaldi se 50 likes jan 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 let's go let's go let's go come on <laughs> i know i will not like i will like only at the last theek hai let's go for the short type questions guys theek hai check this out first question everybody 
What is the first question? How will you prove that air is a mixture of several gases and not a compound? How can we prove this? Very simple. The composition of air is varies slightly from place to place. Different components of air are separable by some process. Different components of air also has different characteristics like if you take a, a, you know, a candle, blow it will go off because you are blowing carbon dioxide. Now, you only need oxygen. So like that, different gases have different characteristics. If you pass carbon dioxide through lime water, it becomes milky because calcium carbonate is formed. So in all of these ways, we can differentiate or we can prove that air contains several gases. Okay. Describe the composition of air. Air contains nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21%, remaining 1% is shared by argon, carbon dioxide and other gases like nitrogen, sulfur, all of that. Okay. Now, what is the role of long chimneys in factories? Burning of fuel takes place in the factories. In factories, they keep burning something, no? So all the harmful gases will just go away from the chimneys to take all that away from us. MCQs we have, we have, don't worry. What is the importance of oxygen in daily life? We use it for respiration. Also, ozone means what? Ozone is O3, made up of three atoms of oxygen. So ozone protects the earth from the harmful ultraviolet rays by the sun. Its oxygen is also used for breathing, right? For respiration, basically. What is the importance of presence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? What will happen if the concentration in the air increases? Ay -ay -oh. This is something to learn about greenhouse effect. Now everybody focus one more quick, quick diagram for everyone. We have a beautiful planet guys, right? We all have a beautiful planet. Now around this planet, we have, as I already told you, we have the atmosphere. Atmosphere contains lot of gases. Okay. Let's take the sun. Sun's rays are coming. <coughs> Usually what happens guys? The atmosphere contains some gases called as greenhouse gases. Like what? Like carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, all of this. So what happens is in the atmosphere, we have little percentage of carbon dioxide here and there. So the sun's heat will be trapped inside the atmosphere. Now, is this harmful? Do we really need this? We need it. Why? Because if, if the heating is not there, we will all freeze. See, right now we are feeling a little warm because the heat is trapped in the atmosphere. It's getting, it's getting trapped. Okay. Now what happens if more and more carbon dioxide is trapped? Normally this is called as greenhouse effect. Why is my pen not working? Normally it's called greenhouse effect. If more and more carbon dioxide is there, more and more heat will be trapped, more and more heat. So global warming will happen. Oh my God. Global warming will happen. So the enhanced greenhouse effect is called global warming. Okay. Great. Check this out. So carbon dioxide is a property of absorbing heat rays called infrared rays. Now they, they give optimum warmth to the atmosphere. If you increase the concentration of carbon dioxide, the earth will become hotter and hotter and hotter and then global warming will happen. Okay. Nature maintains the balance of carbon dioxide, oxygen in the atmosphere, right? Yes. Because there are a lot of plants, lot of organisms, which consume the carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. There is a balance in the atmosphere. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Long answer types, guys. We'll solve some wrong answer types and then go for the weak quiz. ठीक है? Yeah, yeah. Greenhouse is derived from glass house. So green plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same. When is weak quiz? इसके बाद. Importance of water vapor in the air. When air comes in contact with cool surface, you can see that. The the air condenses. The water vapor again becomes into water. So the presence of water vapor is important for the water cycle. This is because it is water vapor present in the air which rises high in the sky along with hot air, cools down and comes back as rain. So if there is no water vapor, there will be no rain, isn't it? Exactly, uh, sir. Avatar, directly. No, guys, I haven't seen Avatar. Tickets are super, so pricey. The first day I saw the tickets were thousand seven hundred. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to become less, and I'll go watch. Importance of air in our lives for breathing, for photosynthesis, for atmosphere, for movement of ship, yachts, and planes, birds to fly, for pollination to uh, happen. For windmills to work, we all need air. Okay, how will you pro prove that oxygen supports burning by lighting the candles, covering the candles with a tumbler? After some time, the candle goes off. In this way, we can tell that air contains oxygen. Right? Right? Exactly. Uh, how is the level of oxygen maintained in the atmosphere? Uh, we we have seen this. Okay, let's go for the weak quiz now, guys. Are you all ready? The last question was the same. Okay, let's go for the weak quiz. Where can you find the weak quiz? All you have to do is go below the video, click on this link, and join the weak quiz. Come on, jaldi se. Jaldi, jaldi. If you do not know how to join, watch me. What you have to do is go to go to where go to. Google, not Meet. <laughs> Google. It's already in Google, but I'm just making it simple for you guys. Okay. Pre uh, copy www dot weekquiz dot in. Google search. Welcome to Weekquiz. Click on this. What is the code? Let us see the code. Code is double two eight zero six eight. That is the code. Double two. Six zero eight zero six eight is the code. Click on this; it will ask you to log in. You have to give your phone number or email. Then click on next. Enter the password. Log in. Then you will be able to play the quiz. Okay? Come on! I'm waiting for everyone to join. Quick! I've told you how to join. Very easy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick! Come on! Come on! Very easy, guys. Very easy. Join in right away. Join in, join in right away. Come on. <coughs> Please start. Yes, yes. We'll start once all of your friends join. Sir, देख लो अच्छी है. अच्छा. We'll I'll watch. I'll watch. Oh, we have run fifty likes. It's amazing. <laughs> Come on, come on. We'll start, guys. We'll start with the first question. I'm waiting for everyone to join. Come on, quickly join, guys. Let's wait for a minute, okay? Last one minute, I'll wait, and we'll start. What's up, guys? What's up? What plans for New Year night? Huh? What plans for the night? What plans? What plans? Nothing much. Huh? <laughs> Does air contain hydrogen? Yes. Come on, come on, quick. Shall we start? Shall we start? Quick, thirty seconds. Thirty more seconds, and we'll start. Party, New Year party is happening. Great, great. Have fun, guys. Have fun. What else? What else? What scenes for uh, New Year? learn to education yes 
ओके विशल स्टार्ट प्लीज अच्छे ये बताओ प्लीज अच्छा ये बताओ क्या बताओ सर ओ टू प्लस एच टू लाइफ अंडर वाटर या या लाइफ इन अवतार देर इज अंडर वाटर लाइफ नो या लाइक दैट लर्न टू बी कंसिस्टेंट यस ग्रेट यस वी शुड बी कंसिस्टेंट गाइस अमेजिंग विल स्टार्ट विल स्टार्ट फाइव मोर स्टूडेंट्स विल रीच थर्टी एंड देन विल स्टार्ट ठीक है कमान 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 आई राधा वॉट्स अप ज्वाइन द क्विज ज्वाइन द क्विज क्विक लास्ट टेन सेकेंड लेट लेट्स आर द काउंट डाउन टेन नाइन Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. First question on the screen. Seven questions. Let's do it. Come on. Major part of the air constituted by what? Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, inert gases. What is the major part of air? Instagram ID mine is learn underscore with underscore Mohan learn with Mohan that's all do make sure you guys follow me okay quick quick come on the major part of the air is made up of what simple guys nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide inert gases it's definitely made up of nitrogen how much percentage how much percentage tell me. How much percentage? We have uh, Shan Sajit. We have Shan Sajit, Aruhi Singh, Mayank Bola, Anvesha Reddy, uh, Adyan, Avi, Swastik, Don Amp. Okay, Mritika, Amrita. Great job, everybody. You guys have all done very well. Seventy-eight percentage. Very good. Next question, guys. Let's go. Question number two on your screen. Refresh, refresh. It should work. Which which of the following gas helps in burning? nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide carbon monoxide which gas which gas helps in burning hello sir menti pe kyun nahi karte because menti is not ours we quiz is vedantu's property that's why we are doing it on we quiz okay <laughs> quick quick come on nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide carbon monoxide Oxygen supports burning, right? Very well done. That's the right answer. Leaderboard. Let's see if it's the same. Aruhi Singh, Shan Sajit, Adyayan, Abhi, Anvesha, Mayank, Don, Mritika, Amrita, and Tejas. Next question on your screen. Question number three, guys. Wind is dash. Air around us, rising hot air, air in motion. None of this. Wind is dash. What is wind? Tell me, wind is dash. Easy, come on, easy. Let's go, let's go, easy. Wind is dash. The moving air is called wind, no guys. <laughs> air in motion is called wind, no. Why confusion? Moving air is called wind. Leaderboard: Anvesha, Aruhi, Mritika, Abhiraj, Shan, Tejas, Adyayan, Mayank, Don, Swastik. Question number four on your screen. Come on. Hi, Ipshita. I'm great. Envelope of air that surrounds the Earth is known as what? Biosphere, atmosphere, environment, ecosystem. Come on, come on, quick. Easy, sir. In my question, it's not coming. You have to refresh, beta. Refresh and try. Don't worry. Even after the class is over, you can still play the quiz. Okay, don't worry. For now, if it's not at all happening, then you can uh, answer in the comment section. Okay. Time up. It is definitely atmosphere. That's the right answer. Amazing, guys. Good job. Anvesha, Aruhi, Mritika, Abhi, Tejas, Mayank, Adyan. Uh, Swastik, Amrita, Chaitanya. Question number five on your screen. Which is not a property of air? It occupies space. It is transparent. It's a solution. It's a compound. What is not a property of air? 
This is a little tricky. Let's see who gets the answer. <laughs> Time's up. It is, it is a compound. Guys, it's a, it is a solution. It's made up of many things. But it's not a compound. It's a mixture, right? Right? Later board. What's your full name? Mohan. Abhiraj, Anvesha, Aruhi, Mritika, Mayank, Swastik, Tejas, Uday, Chaitanya, Adhyan. Great job. Question number six on your screen. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, quick. Choose the incorrect statement from the following. Incorrect. Air is a mixture of gases. The compound of oxygen in the air is maximum. The envelope of air that surrounds the earth is atmosphere. Aquatic plants and animals use to dissolve oxygen in the water. Which is wrong. Choose the incorrect statement. Come on, come on, quick. Let's go, let's go, easy. What's the answer? Option B is the is the is the is the incorrect statement because we all know why is not working. Nitrogen is present in the maximum, right? Not the oxygen. Okay. Abhiraj, Mritika, Aruhi, Mayank, Swastik, Tejas, Anvesha, Uday, Chaitanya, Adhyan. Great job. Last question on your screen, guys. Come on. Which of the following are properties of air? Air occupies space. Air is present everywhere. Air exerts pressure. All of the above. Which of the following are properties of air? Quick, quick, quick. Properties of air, guys. Final question for everyone. Come on. And the right answer is option D, all of the above. Great. That's the right answer, guys. And the final leaderboard for everyone, it is Abhiraj, guys. Very good, Abhiraj. Then we have Amritika and Aruhi Singh. You guys have all done very well. Congratulations to all of you. And if your name is not there, do not worry because it's all about learning and fun. Great job, guys. And do not worry if you guys want the class notes. If you want this class notes, I will be sharing this class notes in the telegram. Where will you find telegram? All you have to do is you have to go to this link right here. Official telegram channel. Click on this link. Once you click on this link, you will be able to join the telegram group. Okay. Yes. Open telegram desktop. It will open like this. The link has expired or you can just type Vedantu Young Wonders guys. Okay. If you type here, you will be getting all the class notes. I will be sharing the class notes here. Okay. Yes. So guys, I hope all of you had fun learning with me today. It was wonderful teaching you all. And don't forget to check out this new shot. Oh my God. The shot is there. Seven places to stay quiet. Check out this shot guys. Okay, and Vedantu Young Wonders. So I hope all of you had fun. We'll meet up in the next class. So until then, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, share, like uh, this video. So this is me, Mohan, signing off. All of you, take care, stay safe, stay as lovely as always, you guys. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.